Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I mean as Leia, current host here at the Start with Stock series. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a simple yet cinematic and professional looking intro title from scratch in Adobe After Effects. And in today's video, we're going to see how to convert that intro into a motion graphics template and make it ready for contribution to Adobe Stock so everyone is capable of sharing their work and making some extra revenue. The most important thing when making a motion graphics template is to making sure that you're giving the end user enough possibilities to modify your template. Adding a few different options like a left aligned variation, a centered and right aligned variation, giving the possibility to modify all the colors and sizes and so on is pretty important. Also, if you're using scripts or if you're simply parenting specific layers to one another, make sure that you're using an expression universalizer to make sure your template works in every language version of Premiere Pro and this you can easily find by searching online. Anyway, enough theory, let's start with the actual tutorial. So here we left off, let's go to window and add the essential graphics panel. Scrub to a position where you can see the animation in action and set a posterized time. This is basically a thumbnail for essential graphics. Let's also give our template a logical name. Next we want to click on solo supported settings. This will flip open all the effects in our timeline that are available for essential graphics. Let's drag in our source text, click edit properties and here you must check on everything. This will allow the end user to change font, font size and folk styles then drag in the position for our text as well. We can also make groups, for example we want a group for everything that edits our text. So rename it to text edit for example, now drag in all the text settings. We can also add an effect, generate fill effect to our text so we can include this color into the essential graphics so the text color can be modified later on. You can also rename the effects in the essential graphics panel to make it more logical for the end user. Close the group and make a new group and rename it to box01 edit. Now start dragging in everything you want to be able to modify on the box, such as size, position, roundness, wish also looks pretty cool, color and opacity and also the stroke width and you also want to be able to modify the offset which basically means where you start growing the lines from the box. Once you are done test all the functions and then do the exact same thing for the second box. Add a new group and add all the effects. Once you are done, click on export motion graphics template, browse to the location where you want to save the motion graphics template and check both boxes for controlling if everything is okay. Again, make sure you're using only your own assets, don't use any third party plugins and use fonts from Adobe Fonts. After this, you should also include your After Effects project file within the folder that you would like to send for review to adding your template to Adobe Stock. To do this, go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files and Save All Source Files and click Collect and put it in the same folder as your motion graphics template. You should also take a print screen of your intro as a thumbnail and then lastly include a mp4 preview of your template. It would be great if you showed a few variations in this preview so people understand what can be modified such as different texts and different colors and different buildups of your template. Alright, so that's basically how to create an awesome motion graphics template which should be ready for contribution to Adobe Stock. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, I'll show you something completely different, how to do a proper sky replacement on your footage to make it look even more cinematic. And then we're also going to include an extra bonus in that video. And until then, take care, goodbye.